I'd like to show you what I've secretly been working on for some time. Maybe not so secret because I recently sold off my stock of MIDI SID and I made it clear that that was to make way for a major new version. This is it, MIDI SID 4, codenamed Morpheus. If you've not seen this before, the SID is the sound chip that was used in the Commodore 64 8-bit home computer. It's a synthesizer on a chip with three voices, four waveforms and an ADSR envelope per voice, pulse width for the square wave, a filter and advanced features like ring modulation and waveform sync. It still has a cult following today. 25, more of an old school feel this month, starting off with Trident, Oceans of Time. This has two of those, or modern recreations of, for a total of six voices with all of the features I just mentioned. It has MIDI in so that you can control it from a keyboard, door, or anything else that produces MIDI, such as playing in a MIDI file using a MIDI player. At a glance, this new version looks similar to the previous one, but there are some important changes in the hardware and firmware. The most obvious one from the front is the screen size. This allows for some menu improvements. No one likes menu diving, but if you can see more on the screen at once, it helps you to keep some context. It really comes into its own when creating sounds for the monophonic mode, which uses three voices per patch. And being able to see the envelope, waveform, etc. for all voices at the same time and be able to play with them without navigating back and forth through the menu is really nice. Even if you don't want to get into the sound design, this better system has allowed me to create a bunch of new presets for mono and duo modes. Yes, there's a new mode. The existing mono mode uses all six voices, three per SID chip, three on the left, three on the right, to make full sounding and complex sounds, but with single note polyphony. The new duophonic mode uses the same patches but uses the two SIDs separately to make two-note polyphony. On the back we see a USB-C socket, previously a micro-USB, and that was only for updating the firmware. But now this socket can act as a USB host and receive MIDI over USB from controllers with only a USB output which acts as a USB device. It will power and receive MIDI from controller devices such as Ether or MIDI Pan. If something acts as a USB host, for example a computer, then it's easy to use a device like this to convert that to real MIDI. But my piano, for example, acts as a USB device with a micro port, so you can only plug that into a USB host, and it's more complicated to convert that to real MIDI. Now you can plug such devices directly into MIDI SID. Another physical addition is this mono stereo switch. The output jack is still a stereo TRS socket, Previously, the output of one of the SIDs went to the left channel, the other to the right. This is great for some modes and can give a stereo effect with instruments coming from the left or from the right. But with polyphonic modes, including the new duophonic mode, you can't tell which of the chips will be handling the note and therefore which side of the stereo space the note will appear on. So previously that mode has really needed to be mixed down to mono outside of MIDI SID. This switch centres everything, which is ideal for those modes, and you can switch back to stereo when that's more appropriate. I've traditionally supplied MIDI SID with nano swin SIDs, which are fine, although not the most highly regarded modern SID replacement. Recently, the Kung Fu SID has come about. It uses the ReSID emulator, which is long established in Commodore 64 emulators and SID replacements, and is very good. 
most importantly, this solves the problem with the SwinSID, which is artefacts or noise when using some high-pass filter settings. I've been testing the Kung Fu SID and I really like it, so I'll be fitting two of those into the new MIDI SIDs. As always, they're socketed, so you're free to use the SID of your choice. As certain computer giants like to say, these are available right now. And as a car giant once said, in any colour you like, as long as it's black. I'll leave you with Corridors of Time from Echoes on Stone Walls by Autumn Altair, rendered in six voices by the new Kung Fu Sids.